Um, first thing I'll touch on that everybody has so far is the budget, my, my perspective. There are only uh, three people in the House that are on two different appropriations committees, and I'm one of them. So uh, I was very, very fortunate to not only sit on pre-K through 12 with Representative Clayton, but also on the Higher Education Subcommittee, uh, Appropriations Subcommittee. And what we did there in order to make sure that we had a lot of the funding going forward was we allowed some tuition flexibility, as well as we uh, talked a little bit more and have changed the requirements for the Bright Futures Scholarship. And I'll give you an example. As it stands right now, you know, Bright Futures is a merit scholarship that we give to individuals who have scored a certain percentage uh, on their standardized tests, their ACT and SAT. They have a high GPA. They've done some community service. But if you look at the current requirement, uh, you could uh, qualify for the ACT scoring in the 48th percentile of that test. That's not exactly a bright future. That's a statistically average future. And it's costing taxpayers in the state a great deal of money. So what we did.